Wonderful. I feel so silly. I should have I should have known better. I trust it. I don't know. I'm just gonna take it as this guy blessing this table, you know? giant t-shirt today and my Ryuk, you know, little slippers. I have a Zoom meeting in like five minutes, but I decided that I wanted to start this video anyway. So the weather's changed and I think my whole staining varnish idea for what I wanted to do today is totally been thrown out the window. But I will still work on the table. Oh boy. Is it slanted too? Goodness. Are we slanted? Oh, that's better. Right? That's better. Oof. It feels a little better. Ah! I have to redo that all over again. What was I talking about? So, got our magical piñata. And let's mix it up. You know, all of the little thin ones, you see that? It's all the little thin ones and some glitter that keep popping out. All the really dramatic poet ones. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it does make it a little bit harder. I know the bigger ones, the bigger ones that I cut out, if I remember correctly, were a little more um, simple. So anyways, we got two. I'll just read them both and see what the themes are for today. <gasps> I don't know what this is. Ni nice nice so Nyctophilia. Nyctophilia? I don't know what this word is. Yeah, I'm sure it's a s being scared of something. Um, what's the other one say? Sirens of the sea. Oh. Sirens of the sea. If I knew what Nyctophilia was, I'm sure it would help influence what to do with this one as well. I mean, obviously, love the ocean vibe that's happening right now. Um, reminds me of that one movie. There's a movie with a mermaid. Um, the movie with a mermaid that lives in the Freddy Fender water tower. You know which one? That one? That, that one. That one. Anyway. <laughs> Let me figure out what the... Oh! My Zoom meeting. While I wait for this Zoom meeting to start, I'm going to look up what this, what this word is. A preference for the night or darkness. A condition of being very happy and comfortable in the dark. Okay, so it's kind of like, you know. <gasps> okay, it's basically being called, I see it as being called into the dark, nice, uh, safe space of a dark, nice, safe space, like a cave. Like the hoodie, you know, when you got the hoodie and you like do it like this and you know, you would, you would tie it up and you would take a nap in class and you'd just be like this little sack of potatoes on the desk back in the day. My team member is asking me, where's our instructor? Um, where's, is there a meeting? I'm sure there's a meeting. I've got it waiting right now. Yeah, so Nyctophilia, I mean, that's basically, <laughs> this computer is basically going to be like that because it's going to be living in this dark, kind of space in between two pieces of plywood. It's gonna be like a chocolate covered something with a creamy center and the creamy center is the computer and the shell is the sweet, sweet, smooth, the sweet, sweet layer of drawing space and mug space of the table on the other side. But sirens of the sea, I mean, I know the whole thing about the siren, I guess, if I remember correctly, the siren of the sea is being like called to something, but it's usually kind of, it's seen as a trap. And of course, it's somehow, usually that's coded as a woman, seducing men to fall into the ocean, you know, because I mean, some of them probably deserved it, but obviously still how it's coded, you get what I mean, right? You get what I'm saying. I'm not sure how that's gonna be related to this build for today. I, oh my goodness telling my colleague that I'm waiting in the chat room and 
it's not popping up. I mean, we could put it a little more, a little less traumatic and dramatic and just, you know, a calling, a calling to the sea. I will tell you what though, it does make me think. No, no, I don't want to talk about that. I guess that means, I mean, it kind of works with the weather today. I know you can't really tell from the window, but it is much, much more gloomy than it was because there, there's a winter storm. I guess I'm just going to see this as a dr being drawn to a nice, dark, comfortable space. Be like a little Finding Nemo with a sea anemone. Um, we need to have this meeting to ask if there's lab, lab. I have a feeling our instructor forgot. I don't want to blame them, but they are probably in a, I mean, they're also a colleague. They're, they're an instructor and a colleague, but I have a feeling that they are probably in a nice nectro, nectophilic <laughs> space right now. I'm not trying to put them on blast either or nothing, really. Like, hey, I, I, there are plenty of times where I would just really like to not have to go and do anything and have any responsibility. I am troubled. As a newborn baby. I could see reverb being like the song of a siren, you know? Because the reverb is kind of oceanic in its form, it just kind of waves on and on. I decided it's a nautical themed episode. So everything is going to have a pun to the best of my ability, something to do with the ocean or a mermaid or a fish, fish stick. I think we're having fish sticks tonight. I could, I mean, we could do that here right now. I mean, it would be. This. Nystophilic. The 90% of the ocean that we haven't yet discovered or explored. That is, those creatures, they like, they like that. Nystophilia. They like, they feel safe in there, you know? Even the scary looking ones. They only look scary to us because we're othering them. Ah, and see that, 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 that creepy fish, angler, is it an angler fish? That fish, it does the song of the siren in a way, because it's like, it has that little thing to kind of convince you, and then it draws you right out, and then you're, you're dead. I'm wondering if there's going to be a lesson today that I'm going to fall for the allure of something, like cutting corners on this table or something. I don't think that this meeting is going to happen. I really don't. It could just be a whole montage of me today just waiting for this meeting to happen. The Walton's house is on fire. Look at that. Oh, man. Did you know that the Walton's house is the same house as the dragonfly in Gilmore Girls? I know, right? Except it burned down. I mean, literally. I mean, I don't know if it was part of the show that they did that. It burned down, and they had to build it again. And then that's the one that wound up in the show. Because uh, they were both shot in Hollywood, California, although they're both supposed to be happening in the Connecticut, Virginia area. Ain't that funny? It, whatever. In my head, it used to be the Walton house, and then that old lady bought it, and then they got, then Lorelai got it with Suki after that old lady died. So it's like in my head canonical. I'm gonna go and watch the Walton's house burn down with the volume turned down, and I guess, I don't know, experience the trauma of that, and then hopefully my Zoom meeting will start. So I'm going to also get a drink of water.
Alright. So as previously stated, I'm going to be uh, sanding the sides so that they are soft to the touch and also ready for the finishing oil. Um, but for now I'd like to sand it outside so that I don't get all the dust particles everywhere. Uh, I'm not going to sand this side of the table because this is actually going to be the upside of the table. What's, what's up dog? <laughs> that made me laugh more than it, than it should have. So I'm not sanding this side because I need it to be tacky uh, for glue. And that's because when when I screw the components that will be that will be holding the computer on this side, the screws are going to be coming inward. Um, you're going to see screws all over it, and so then that will like it will look like very kind of I guess it could be a look a very rustic kind of look. But the point is to then cover it with a you know. Uh, a very thin piece of wood on top so it looks like it was always just the one slab of wood and it'll hide all the screws and so forth. Yeah. My ears are cold. I have here in my hand 400 grit um, sanding blocks or sponges to sand the sides off. All I know is, oops, dropped it. All I know is that 400 grit is usually the best level for um, staining stuff because it's finishing the wood. So you would do this to finish it, sand it wise or something. Sand like the beach because our theme is ocean and mermaids. No more time lapses. We see them too much already. Let's, let's do a time lapse free video. Whoa. Cool. Now I know why they use like a sanding belt because the sanding belt works a lot faster than you doing this. Woo. Something, something, something. I'm going to get copyright claims if I sing that song. Forgot to do the corners. Woo. Oh no! the dust, feel soft to the touch, no splinters. Check that out. Yeah! Time to get the threaded inserts. Shoot! I walked away for 10 seconds and it rained. Talk about the siren song. I got carried away for a minute and I didn't, I just trusted I trusted that it would be fine by itself out there in the yard. I mean, to be honest, I was gone for like 15 minutes, but like, not making that mistake again. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is gonna be our next workstation. Ooh, I forgot I was wearing those. So I'm gonna measure those out bore the holes, countersink them, and we'll screw them in. But first I need to pat dry. I need to pat dry this thing, so I don't know. I'm just gonna take it as the sky blessing this table, you know? Getting a little more nature into this wood, a little more love, a little more uh, of that energy into the wood. Nice, very nice. Ah. Here comes the rain. Here comes the water. And a nice pick to the forehead. 20. There's 12. 
El Dorado. You can feel the nicophilic energy just like just like creeping in as the weather changes. It's live, people. So the weather is really bad now. <laughs> and I realized that the siren song, today's theme, is working when the weather is getting worse and worse and you have interoception and you don't realize that it's getting colder and colder, but you just want to keep working, right? Because you just want to get it done, right? It's just so like, ugh. I've got my partner standing over there watching me. They've saved me now twice. Uh, first time being when I almost sawed off my leg in the first episode. Second time being today getting frostbite almost. So yeah, I just didn't realize how bad the weather was and the song of the siren was really convincing me because I wasn't paying attention or because I was excited. Anyways, just want to shout out to, to them because they could tell it was sleeting out there. And now I've got my Mr. Rogers tea, where he's, he's over here in his little decaf, because I don't need it, or I'd be up till m next Monday. So, anyway, I feel really self-conscious because um, they're standing right there watching me. I should have closed the door. It's true. They, they really did. Uh, they were like, hey, can't you see what the weather's like outside? And I was like you know, with the mask and everything. It's okay, it doesn't matter because I don't have the drill bit to drill the holes to be able to put the threaded inserts in the wood anyway. I don't teach, I don't teach this Friday anymore because why are we gonna go to lab when it's like nine degrees? At least this doesn't look like it's gonna be Snowvid part two, um, the sequel, uh, Revenge of the Snowvid. So that kind of leaves us for the rest of the day. I mean, obviously the weather is telling us that we should be, um, what's the word? We should be nyctophilic. Nyctophilia? We should be nyctophilic because it's going to be terrible the next like three or four days. So, so as we embrace nyctophilic vibes, I still feel like it's related back to uh, taking a step back and being patient with stuff because obviously I'm trying to do I mean you see how much time it takes it like takes like half a day two days three days it takes forever I'm not complaining I'm having a good time with it and I'm glad my partner once again saved me sign of the times let me tell you the world is in and I'm done pretending anyway that's all I've got for this episode Tune in next time for a continued experience of building a workstation computer that's invisible because it looks like a table. I should really just call it a computer table. I, I, I style, instead of this really long-winded thing, I'm trying to over-dramatize it, I think. So, computer table, next time, we'll make more of it. We're gonna go swim with the mermaids in a nyctophilic way because I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Next time, I'm totally just gonna get an easy one because these, these poetic ones are really hard. Backstroke, I make sure I know that.